welcome to this video lecture on GSTAR. In early lecture, I talk about pseudo potential generation. Now, in this video lecture, I am going to talk about simulation of hydrogen molecule using CSTA code. The CSTA code requires two types of files. One is the FTF file and another is the PSF file. This contains structural information, types of approximations, we are using then various simulation parameters. PSF file contains pseudo potential of the atomic species involved species involved right so here i will discuss these files one by one so this is the ftf file it contains system level then number of atoms then atomic species or the information of the atomic species involved and then atomic coordinates this is the coordinate one atom is fixed at the origin and another atom is variable it keep on changing that's why we have keep this as LATT and LATT is basically a variable and these are another simulation parameters and it contains the type of exchange correlation function which we are using. So LDA we are using, right? So and same type of exchange correlation function we have to use in the uh, pseudo potential. Let us see. So it is the pseudo potential. It contains the same information. It's a separately elder, like uh, exchange correlation function we are using. Then let us discuss the script because what I did. I keep one atom hydrogen atom at 0 0.000 and another is 0 0.500 and I keep on bringing this towards this site up to 5.00 and I will see that how energy changes when this atom is brought further apart from the this one. So the energy plots which we are getting, we are getting such type of energy plots and this is expected. So for this I will use a simple script and in this script, this it is the script ebslatt.sh. So here I change the zero, change the let atomic distance from 0 0.52 5.00 in a small step of 0.05 or you can make this step more smaller and it is the LATT is replaced in the FDF data with all these values in sequence here and it will make a new FTF file and corresponding to that FTF file we are getting a out file when we run the CSTA. So this is a simple script and this saves a lot of time. So I will run this script. Yeah. 
So here it contains these three files and I will run the script using Fiesta and it will make a, this FTF file and corresponding to it there is a out file right so this is out file corresponding to it and it contains the total energy of the system and this is the total energy of the system so it is for 0 0.55 and it is for 0 0.60 and so on up to 5.00 this simulation will keep on running and let us see that how the total energy will be grabbed or extracted from out file so we will grab a line containing total equal to from every out file and I pasted that information in a file nase named energy dot dat right so if I go to the energy dot dat so it will contain whole of this information right so I have to replace this h2 or this dot out from every row so what I will do I will use Control H and a window will open in front of you. So first of all, I will remove this H2 dot, then dot out, then total, right? So this is way that so this first column contains bond length and another contains energy corresponding to that. Then we have to plot it. So I already completed this simulation so let us have a look at that so I plotted this so it is from uh, 0 0.5 to 5.0 it's already completed so the bond angle which we sorry bond length which we are getting it is the 0. Point, uh, 80 angstrom and energy at this point let us have a look at the energy which we are getting so energy at 0 0.80 is uh, minus 30.635119 and the energy at, fi at 5 is 24.228519 so it is almost converging so this is that energy the difference between these two energy values will give us the binding energy of the system so let us see how much is that so i already mentioned here the approximate bond length which we are getting is the 0 0.80 angstrom it's a good estimate then actual value is this one because i am doing a crude calculation but it gives us a good estimation then bond dissociation energy is basically say at uh, 5 it is this one and at 0 0.80 angstrom it is this one so the difference between these two gives us the binding energy so in this video lecture I told you that how bond angle sorry not bond angle but bond length equilibrium bond length is estimated for a diatomic molecule and the, its binding energy will be calculated right so in the next video lecture I will tell you that how various periodic structures like simple cubic or BCC or FCC are generated and how those simulations are uh, done using siesta so thanks for watching